the bomb. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> This is Dr. Hernandez. Uh, she's my advisor for Christian missions. Um, and she always teaches us how to walk the walk. Um, and she leads by example. She has been um, in the mission field and has gone to Southern Seminary. Um, and is always talking about her experiences and teaching us um, all sorts of things on what to do and what not to do. She is my main mango. So I'm putting that on there. You can also go to her for anything. Um, like if I need sauce for my lunch, my main mango's got it for me. And she has traveled a lot in her days, and so traveling always makes me think of her and all the places that she's been and all the places that she wants to continue to go to um, and encourages us to travel the world as well. And this says out with the old, um, and it makes me think of out with the old and with the new. Um, she's always making improvements um, to little things and is just always working on new new things in the office um, as well as her life. And so, yeah, that's what I got. My favorite professor is Dr. Gower. He is an English professor at CU. Um, I've had him every year since I've been here at CU for different classes. And there are several reasons why he's my favorite. Um, for one, we share a love of books. So it's always interesting to talk to someone about things you're passionate in and what you love. And I am putting this down because he's super refreshing. And I think that sometimes you need someone who's a breath of fresh air, and he definitely provides that for his students. I'm gonna put this little quote down. It says, sometimes it's the little things that make the biggest difference. And um, Dr. Gower is one of those people that constantly checks on you as a person before a student. And I think those are the little things that make a difference in students' lives. I like this one I cut out for Dr. Gower. It says made for more. And I think that he genuinely is made for more and he's not just a professor, but he's someone you can count on and lean on as well as a friend. And I think that fits him. Um, I'm putting this down. It says the single change that has made my life better. And Dr. Gower has shown me things about myself that I probably wouldn't have seen if I didn't have him as a professor. And I just think that he does more than just teach you about the content of the class, but about yourself as a person. This is Dr. Helm. Um, this is my favorite professor on campus. He teaches my Mass Media and Society class and my reporting and news writing. Uh, Dr. Ham quickly became my favorite professor um, just because I've only had him for like the six weeks we've been in school. Um, but so far he's been really cool. Definitely been a really chill professor from previous ones that I've had. Um, um, one thing I like, really like about Dr. Ham he does a really good job of putting you in different perspectives and does a really good job of allowing you to find things that you really like. Um, so it's a great way to kind of break out of your shell. Um, I know of a lot of people in that class who previously said they weren't good public speakers, but like with our reporting and news writing class, they've really come to enjoy it. And voila, I would definitely recommend taking Dr. Ham as a class. If you can get him to all my mass communication majors out there, definitely get in a few classes with Dr. Ham. I chose Dr. Howell as my favorite professor. She is a psychology professor here at CU. Um, the first class I took with her was general psychology, and I find her to be a very inspiring woman. She is a published author. She is just really inspiring. She is one of the smartest people I've ever met. Um, as a freshman, she was just one of those teachers that definitely made me feel like I wasn't alone on campus. Her door was always open to her students. She was always really nice to everyone. Um, so yeah, I feel really inspired by her. And that's why I'm putting, she will inspire you because if you come across her, she probably will. I put in, I'm putting in some sunflowers because I think that she has a very lively personality. Um, she's one of those people that in every class made sure that we had a laugh and that we were able to like joke around with her and just a very lighthearted environment. So I think it's really important to Acknowledge that about her, that she just always made sure that everyone was happy and that everyone was doing okay. 
I cut this out, it says loves you back because she's one of those people that would constantly like, even to like international students in the class, I'm an international student, and she would always say like, if you like are alone for the holidays, like you can always like join me and my family. Like she just always showed you that you were loved and I think that's a really special quality that she has. This says magic, no, science, yes. Because she's always talking about how people don't really understand that psychology is science and that upsets her, so I wanted to include that. And the last thing I did is this sign that says a special thanks for all the good stuff because not only did she have the best stories to tell and like the best things to teach, but she just had a lot of good things to bring to the class and to every conversation that you had with her. And yeah, I can't think of a single bad thing. And yeah, it's all good stuff with Dr. Hill. So that's it. Um, I picked Professor Pickens. He is my Elements of Design professor and my Art History professor. And he is my favorite professor for a lot of reasons. Um, the first thing that I picked is this outdoor scene because we do a lot of stuff in the art studio and it has just a bunch of windows we can enjoy outside. And I picked the mushroom because he's just a fun guy. <laughs> and then I picked um, Extraordinary and this one says Relief because he's just a lot different than any other professors that I've ever had. And it's just refreshing um, taking his class because he's super laid back and easy to get along with. Um, I cut out this gigantic paintbrush because he teaches art. He's a painter. And I cut out this quilt because that's one of the um, things he does with his own personal art. He does quilting, so. Picked brilliant. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. This is Dr. Hayden. Uh, she was my corrections and um, drug abuse uh, professor. She um, is a CJ professor and she's just amazing. She's one of my favorite CJ um, professors. She's always just been someone that taught us how to just dream big. Um, just go for what you want and don't um, let anything hold you back. Um, I was thinking about switching my major just because I didn't feel confident and um, Because of her, she helped me. She is fa very family oriented. And um, I remember last year in January when I got COVID, she always checked up on me and made sure that I had what I needed. Um, she was always there for each one of her students, um, whether she knew them or not. She always challenged us and um, I very much appreciate that because she's helped me got up, get out of my comfort zone and challenging um, us is something that I appreciate. And she always believed in every single one of her students. For that, I thank you, Dr. Hayden. 